Hey Tom, New Hampshire Hobby Logger here. I uh, got some update for you. I'll give you a quick overview of what I've got going here with the Arduino running the wood gasifier um, engine. The gasifier does fine without it, but uh, anyhow, this is what's going to control the air um, intake for the engine, and it's what you're kind of looking for. So you're going to have to do a little shopping. You got to come up with some. Uh, uh, the items that it's going to take to run this thing. The first thing you want to do is you want to get this AEM performance gauge. Uh, the part number is 304110 and uh, it comes with the uh, the gauge right there. Uh, that's your air fuel mixture ratio. It comes with the wiring harness uh, which is uh, um, the two-part deal and it comes with the O2 sensor that is correct for this and it's calibrated um, and it uh, also has a bung that you can uh, to, to screw that into you weld that somewhere in your exhaust system they say uh, 18 inches or so away from your uh, the engine itself from the exhaust um, so you're gonna need that um, I think these things are about a 160 bucks or something like that. So they're a little pricey, but uh, it's what you got to have. Um, the next thing you have to have is a uh, servo motor to run uh, the linkage for your carburetor. And this is a high tech servo. Um, it is an HS, as in Sam, 755HB. And that is that guy right there. Okay. Um, then you're also going to need the Arduino Uno R3. And that's what uh, that's the uh, the original um, from the original manufacturer. There are a lot of clones out there, which I have some, and they all work. But uh, for this project, I'm going to stay right with. And I bought a couple of them. They're like 20 bucks a piece, so or 22 dollars or something. So I bought two or three of them. Um, for to have for spare, and I've got them locked in steel cans in case we get a, a electromagnetic flash or something like that. So I always have a spare. In fact, I buy spares everything except that servo, and I don't have a spare for that. But anyhow, you get some breadboard so that you can um, make uh, get the circuits going uh, correctly uh, from your uh, computer to drive this stuff. And then um, I have an external power supply which uh, runs this servo. Uh, it needs more amperage than what this, the uh, Arduino can provide. So I have two separate uh, power supplies with two separate breadboards um, and they are um, sort of interconnected a little bit but not, not really so much. Um, this thing is uh, 110 volts in and it's an adjustable from I think 14 volts down to 8 volts. Um, right in these guys here so this wire here these wires here are for that on this backboard are go into here and that comes out at about eight and a half volts I think that's the lowest setting you can have and then there's a little step down uh, resistor or transformer or whatever I, I, I don't know anything about electricity so it's one of those things I can show you all the, the uh, the setup once you get all your your parts and everything but um, that is provides enough amperage there to run uh, that servo motor because uh, that would kill this little guy all right um, the O2 sensor um, this thing is has its own uh, you got a it's a 12 volt uh, power supply so you've got a positive uh, you've got a negative and those clip into your um, your your battery or whatever 12 volt battery and then this white wire right there that is the sender uh, the, the sensing sender uh, from this air fuel mixture ratio uh, and it runs between 0 and 5 volts so that's the sensor that you want to use to plug into your Arduino and that would be one of these guys here um, and that's what that's going to do is say if uh, the gasifier is normally running once you get started up you, you don't turn this uh, 
full auto on until you've got it you're stabilized, your gas fire is stabilized, the engine's running well. You can adjust it with this potentiometer for your carburetor. This potentiometer runs this servo very nicely up and down. So you get your uh, rig tuned right in where it likes it. Then you throw a toggle switch, it cuts out the potentiometer and it goes right to the program which is installed in that little circuit board right there in the Arduino and it takes over from there. So you switch back and forth. Uh, if you have to do anything manual, you can switch it back with a toggle switch to uh, your, your potentiometer to run this to get its sweet spot. Once you got your sweet spot set, then you go boop, you flip the switch, and this takes over. So it's going to be reading this white wire, this sensor. It's going to be reading the voltage from 0 to 5 volts off of that. So say the system's running really good at... Um, 3.1 volts. Um, if it goes a little bit less than that, uh, lean or rich, it's going to adjust this. And that's all written in the code uh, in the computer there. So anything outside of those ranges, uh, or if it gets away from that range low, this is just going to control it to bring it back in. And it reads it about I think once every three seconds, if you do it faster than that, this thing can get wobbling up and down from what I've heard. Matt Ryder has been telling me, uh, helping me quite a bit on this thing, and he, he, he uh, seems to, he knows what he's doing. So um, he, he, you don't want it uh, uh, reading this thing 50 times a second because this thing will just come apart trying to keep up with it. So he, I think he's got it set for about, it reads it every uh, three seconds, I think. And then it'll make, make the adjustment as it does. And it's, it's fairly, I've seen some of his videos and it works real well. So that's what we're shooting for. I haven't, uh, um, I'm, I'm getting ready now to hardwire this so that these breadboards will disappear. Um, I have shields that these stick on top of the Arduino and you can hardwire and solder onto onto these guys here. I'm not sure this is the correct one. I've been fortunate that I have a study group um, about uh, 15 miles from here that I go to on Thursday nights, um, and it's they uh, focus on Arduinos and and writing code. And um, that's not my my cup of tea, but um, the instructor has been very very helpful with for me there. He comes up. Uh, when I need them and and we sit down and, and uh, thrash this thing out so um, anyhow I've, I'm lucky to have to uh, be able to do that otherwise you buy Arduino for dummies the book and you start reading it or uh, C code C code writing um, for Arduino stuff like that and uh, try to make sense of it um, uh, mostly I'm having him do it uh, writing the code, but I'm going to take the full course that they have. It's a 30-week program, so maybe I'll understand it a little more. Keeps me busy and out of trouble. So um, anyhow, well, that's the update. So you're going to have to get the servo, your the uh, AEM uh, O2 sensor and whatnot, and that to start with. And um, also, I got the uh, a starter kit with the uh, Arduino. It was a separate item, but it, it, it comes with, it's about an $89 option, I guess. And it comes with all kinds of stuff, like this little potentiometer and, and all kinds of stuff there that I have no clue. But I've found that I've been using a lot of the end of wiring and stuff like that. And uh, get yourself a couple of breadboards, these things there. So you'll, uh, you can do a, a, get all your circuits to, correct to begin with um, when you're verifying and downloading from the computer into, the, into, into your Arduino. So that's where we are. Have fun. Go get your stuff, and uh, and uh, I'll keep you up to date when I can. Signing out.